Hey guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, we have a pumpkin before us. And what we are going to do with this pumpkin is we are going to fill it with these pieces of broken uh, eco resin that I have colored a lovely shade of orangey terracotta whatnot. And basically, all I'm going to do is just start dropping these in randomly. And I want to get all of them in there as much as I can because I want it filled basically to the top of the pumpkin. All right. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so it's not all the way up to the top, but I'm hoping, hoping that uh, the next step will help those uh, sort of float around, for lack of a better term. Because what we're going to do is fill in the blanks with some resin. And this is... Uh, 80 mil that I have made up so far of my Fooey Tim one to one because I wasn't exactly sure how much I was going to need since this has a lot of uh, eco resin chips in it or terrazzo if you will so I'm just going to start filling it up and if I need to make more then I will This is another 80 mil. Okay. Let's see if we got that filled up. I'm just going to go around and squish and squidge and try to get some of those bubbles that are trapped in the eco resin out so they can go ahead and float up to the top all right so we want to keep an eye on that Now, with the little nibbly bits that were in the bottom of the bag, I'm just going to put those on the bottom. And I've mixed up another ounce here for our lid. Let's go ahead and get those distributed. little nibbles on there. And for the lid, I'm going to be mixing bronze gold and shiny malachite. And that makes a very, very pretty green gold. Go ahead and smooch that over for a second and get this. And carefully, because this does have a stem, just dribble that down inside so we can try to get rid of any bubbles that may live in there. Right. 
And with these little guys around the edges, I just go around and squish, and it'll make a vacuum and push out any air and suck back in the resin. So hopefully we don't get any bubbles around our edges. And here is our Terrazzo Chip Pumpkin. And I will see you guys for the demo. See you soon. Okay, tiny change of plans here. I have some small artificial worms that I am going to be adding in here. Wait, let me get my tweezers. Somebody will yell at me. So I'm just going to stick those in. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to leave it alone. Allegedly. See you soon. Okay. All right. So the last step before we demold everything, what I'm doing is I'm going over the bottom here just to even it up because the leaves are sticking uh, just a little bit proud of the surface. I'm going to go over the whole bottom with my gold um, UV resin that I made. And if you're interested in how I make my own UV resin, I do have a couple of videos on that. In my resin projects playlist. So please feel free to peruse those at your leisure. Basically what this is, is a combination of you clear the UV resin, gold mica powder and my Haldi Brown uh, chameleon powder. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and use Old Faithful here and cure it for about 90 seconds and I will see you back. See if we need a second coat. See you soon. Alright, so it's been 90 seconds. I am going to put a little bit more on there just to make sure that I've gotten everything covered. And I'm doing it in two layers because the gold is rather intense in this and I want to make sure that the UV resin cures properly. So I'm doing two thin layers instead of one big one. <laughs> Settle a second. Oh, I see some tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles in my gold. get this little guy out. Gotta get up underneath it. We do have a couple of little holes but nothing big huge. So there he is. Very cool. Very pretty. Now this guy. Let's see what we got.
is. A shattered pumpkin. I did get quite a few bubbles in there, but that's my fault. Probably. And also some air releasing from the uh, doodah eco resin. But I think it turned out really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish I would have had more of those chips. I would have filled up the whole thing, but didn't have enough. I'll have to make another one, I suppose. So, yeah. There's his little hat. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's very cool. I like it a lot. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.